what we would like God to do, of course, is to emphasize mercy and not justice, because that would make him just like us. What our ancestors would probably like God to do would be uh, emphasize justice and not mercy, because that would make him like them. Fortunately, we did not create God in our own image. He created us in his. But we've been returning the compliment to him ever since. <laughs> we probably want mercy without justice for ourselves. But maybe we want justice without mercy for our enemies. But that won't work because you're supposed to do unto others as you want others to do unto you. So if you want justice for your enemies, that's fair only if you want justice for yourself. Do you want justice? I was once in a debate with three other people it was sponsored by a fundamentalist Protestant organization, Campus Crusade for Christ. I was the only Christian on the stage. It was an atheist, uh, a rabbi, and uh, an imam, a Muslim. And uh, I don't know what we were talking about, comparative religions, I think. But uh, I said to Abu, the, the Muslim, we were talking about Jesus, and I said, one of us is dead wrong about him. Either we're worshiping uh, a man as if he's God, uh, and, and you're wrong, or else you're failing to worship God when he came right down here and put his face in your face, and then you're wrong. And one of us will have to apologize to God in heaven uh, if we both get there, uh, and, and we'll laugh about our mistakes. And one of the Protestants in the audience afterwards asking me a question said, uh, Professor Craig, I thought you were a Christian. I said, I am. He said, well, uh, don't you believe that, uh, uh, that we're saved only by Christ? And I said, yes. And only by grace, yes. Uh, well, you said in, uh, to Abu, uh, I hope I see you in heaven. He doesn't believe in Jesus Christ. You think he's going to get to heaven? I said, well, I don't know. Uh, his head doesn't, but maybe his heart does. I don't know. God is to judge, not me. And he, and he pressed the point. I like people who press the point. That make me sweat and ask hard <laughs> questions. That's good. That's great. Uh, he said, but, but we believe that how much, however much we know about Christ, uh, we can only get to heaven if we depend on God's grace and God's mercy, not by being good enough, not by obeying the law. Nobody gets to heaven that way. I said, that's right, I believe that. He said, well, we Christians believe that, but Muslims don't believe that. I said, really? Well, instead of talking about them, let's talk to one. So I'm stage here, Abu, I said. I never met him before. But I thought he knew his religion well enough to answer this question right. Abu, you believe in God and the last judgment, don't you? Yes. And you believe that when you die, you will appear before God and he will judge you, right? Yes. And you will go either to paradise or to hell, right? Right. Now, what is your hope of heaven? Is it God's justice? Do you think you can merit heaven? Do you hope that you're, you're righteous enough to go to heaven? His eyes got big. He said... No intelligent Muslim in the world would make that ridiculous mistake. Our only hope is in his mercy. I said, good, you're wise. <laughs> and the critic sat down. <laughs> we have no hope in justice, only in mercy. Even in human relationships, how are the Palestinians and the Israelis going to stop killing each other? Not by demanding, unjust demanding justice, they both committed crimes. They're both guilty of injustices. Forgiveness is their only hope. Mercy is their only hope. And certainly, in relation to God, mercy is our only hope. So, justice without mercy is, is not enough. On the other hand, mercy without justice isn't either. Because mercy without justice doesn't make sense. You have to first learn justice in order to, to have mercy. Here. Let me read you what Thomas Aquinas says in the Summa Theologica about justice and mercy. Book 1, question 21, article 3. Can mercy be attributed to God? Quote, it seems that mercy cannot be attributed to God, for mercy is a relaxation of justice, but God cannot remit what appertains to his justice. For, as scripture says, if we are faithless, still he continues faithful. He cannot deny himself. Well, the premise is right. God cannot change, cannot deny himself. He is just. He can't stop being just. Reply. God acts mercifully 
by not going against his justice, but by doing something more than justice. Thus a man who pays another 200 pieces of money, though he owes him only 100 pieces, does the other man no injustice, but acts mercifully. The case is the same with one who pardons an offense committed against him, for in remitting the offense he may be said to bestow a gift. And then in the next article, Article 4, he asks whether in every work of God there are both mercy and justice. And he says justice must exist in all of God's works. Now the work of divine justice always presupposes the work of mercy and is founded upon it. For nothing can be due in justice to a creature except for something pre-existing in that creature. And since we cannot go on to infinity, backwards, we must come to something that depends only on the goodness of the divine will, for the very existence of creatures comes from that will. We can't deserve to exist before we exist. So since our existence is the foundation of everything else, that depends totally on God's mercy, and therefore our justice depends on our mercy. Now, mercy presupposes justice to define itself. It means going beyond justice. But justice presupposes mercy in being. Mercy comes first because we were created. Our very being is a gift. Our very existence is a gift. And we can't deserve something before we exist. So we didn't deserve to exist. That's why St. Teresa says, everything is a grace. Everything. Everything. The ultimate foundation for that is the very nature of God. God is a trinity, which is pure gift. The Father gives himself to the Son eternally. The Son gives himself to the Father eternally. The Holy Spirit is that eternal gift between the Father and the Son. That's what love is, the gift of the self. Thus, God is love. And when that love meets sin, it takes the form of forgiveness and mercy. And for us to live in reality, for us to be real, is to be like God. That's why mercy is not just a good thing to do, but it's what makes you more real. <laughs>